Uh, we are Script Not Found. We're YouTube's improv team. This is our cast, everyone. This is Will! <laughs> Will, what's the last thing you did that you totally know you did not nail? This. All right, <laughs> take your pose. That's the popcorn. Yeah, that's right, that's right. This is Matt, everybody. Hey, hey Matt, what's something that isn't your job, but you feel like you're really good at it? Oh, um, uh... Cooking uh, eggs for breakfast. Cooking eggs for breakfast. <laughs> oh, God. Matt's really scraping the bottom of I the have barrel. I no hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bree, everybody. Uh, what should someone know about you if they're gonna hang out with you? Oh, I have four warts on one toe. Okay, <laughs> just four warts on one toe. You should know that before you hang out with her. Big hand for her warts, everybody! Yeah! That applause, that applause was about as enthusiastic as I'd expect for warts on a toe. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lurkin, everybody! Uh, Lurkin, you got a big cheer because you're not a wart. What, what's another reason you've been cheered for before? Oh, uh, for yelling two ducks. For yelling two ducks! <laughs> Michael, uh, what's something you dressed up as for Halloween once? Uh, a spider, and I had fake legs, too. It was really cool. Oh, he's yeah, the whole <laughs> awesome. How old were you? I was like eight, probably. He was eight. He was eight. <laughs> Everyone, my name's Mason. I'll be your host tonight, and let's get this show started, all right? <laughs> Our first game is going to be a game called Experts Challenge. Uh, the way this works is this is kind of like a debate, right? Uh, these five improvisers are going to be debating, trying to hold down the floor, talking about a subject that they're all experts in, right? Can I get a suggestion from you of what topic they are all experts in? Yeast infection. Uh, what, what were you gonna say? Shakespeare. Uh, Shakespeare. You're Shakespeare experts. Great. So they're Shakespeare experts. Uh, they're going to be giving us a, an experts lecture on Shakespeare. Their goal is to be holding the floor as long as possible, right? At the end of four minutes, the last person standing at the front of the stage is is the winner. The way they take the stage from each other is they can object to what the other people are saying by challenging it, and I'll, I'll say whether those challenges are uh, good or not, right? And then if they're good, they can take the person's place. Everyone, please, a big round of applause for Expert Challenge. Uh, Shakespeare is one of uh, history's most prolific playwrights and poets. He hailed from England. He made plays for the masses to enjoy, and when you would go to see a Shakespearean play, uh, there would be all different levels of class enjoying the same piece of art, which was important for uniting the classes, uh, who had very little strife at that time in history. <laughs> Challenge! That's not true! That's not true! Come they lost strife! Uh, throughout human history, there has historically been strife between the upper classes and the lower classes, because the haves and the have-nots, and the have-nots want to have, and that is the yeah, 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 second I point. Follow that. That is my Come up here, Matt. Uh, the haves and the have-nots are two very general ways of describing what is really a very uh, dense and complicated uh, economic situation that exists. Yeah, yeah. people. I'm, I'm thinking it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Come up here. Uh, they're rich people and they're poor people and they're people in between. Shit. Um, and so <laughs> where you fall on that, there's the, the spectrum, and then you're grouped, and you're grouped by those people, and then they fight, and it's the proletariat. <laughs> There's not some, like, bloody war. <laughs> it's not always ending in combat. Not everything can be solved so directly. In situations like this, Three minutes. as Lorcan said earlier, historically, this has been the case throughout human history. Not one Challenge! more time. Yeah. I don't think he said anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, getting to the point qu uh, quickly is important. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. He now. came out and said, ah, getting to the point. When you're trying to get to the point, you come out and you say it. You have to stick to your guns and explode onto the surface yeah, of people's yeah. eyeballs. Whoa! I'm broke! <laughs> I'll take that. I take so it. violent! I think there are ways to calmly express your feelings. Watch out! Yeah. She, she wanted rich and poor people to fight her. <laughs> <laughs> Democracy, really. Can't <laughs> I'm not gonna go into that. I'm gonna go into violence, okay? <laughs> violence <laughs> solves nothing. Next to Challenge! Next to violence has historically solved a lot of things. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, when two groups fight in a war, at the end of the war, after there's been lots of violence, the war is over. Challenge! What about the Cold War? No violence there, Overruled, that's an exception. There's some violence. Uh, that's a clear 
exception. It was called the Cold War because it was kind of uh, mutually assured destruction, which is we John, bond, yeah, we it bond. was super mutually assured. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of. I mean, yeah, come here, come uh, here. When a country has a nuke over here and you got another country over here and they got a nuke, uh, if they send nukes at one another, that's called mutually assured destruction, baby. Challenge? That's no, that's nuclear, nuclear war. That is nuclear war. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> when two separate countries launch nuclear missiles at each other, that is the beginnings of nuclear war. Mutually assured destruction is when they don't launch those missiles. That's challenge. Yeah. If it's not officially declared, is it nuclear conflict? I don't know, but Michael should talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there, you know, if you don't declare a war, then it's a conflict, and a conflict is not a war. It's just like two people fighting, but they didn't what? declare challenge. anything. So it's a conflict official. can be more than two people. Yeah, that's all the very few people. Who <laughs> when the rich people and the poor people. Not this again. Yeah, come over here. I want something new. Ah, people make money by working at jobs. One job that you can have is to be a writer, like Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, you could also be a construction worker. And uh, Challenge. Construction yeah. worker. He's just gonna list off jobs. Yeah, I don't want to hear all that. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of times people get into a form of employment through a, their college. They find the major and they study it, and then they eventually go out. But there are different ways to get into the job you love. You can go to trade schools. Sometimes you don't even have to get Challenge. an education. Yeah. She's just gonna list ways to get jobs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking points often bore an audience. It's important to keep things fresh. Challenge, he just repeated the same yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He was upset about repetition, but then he did this three or four different Challenge. times. Challenge, yeah. just repeating what Matt said. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is a totally different topic. Fashion! Uh, yeah. uh, well, I was going to say fashion. Fashion. Yeah. Yeah. fashion. yeah, fashion has changed throughout time. Fashion is cyclical! Okay, yeah, sure, come up here. Uh, no, the same way history repeats itself. One minute. Fashion repeats itself. That's why things like bell-bottom jeans and high-waisted pants and stuff are coming back. Those are those are trends from before. We already did that. Our parents are like, been there, done that, you know? But we're doing it again. Yeah, yeah. My dad doesn't sound like that. That's what it is. My dad speaks in metaphors to me. And he confuses me, and he's giving me three hugs. Challenge! Yeah. I'm bummed out! Yeah, I'm bummed out! Together, a loving family can't be judged. It sounds like he's just rubbing it in. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like it's not it's family. Family. If a friend of yours comes to you with a problem, you don't talk about how they're challenged. <laughs> I don't like deep emotional connections. That's like overruled. You should hear it. Three seconds. So when a friend of yours comes to you with a problem, don't list Challenge. off what they yeah. should be he's doing. He's just talking about himself. Like, yeah, it's really self absorbed. Come over here, Brian. So I'm referring to someone else, you know, people will be like, uh, I'm asking for a friend. And when you're really, you're talking about yourself, I think honesty is what it gets the point across faster. Just say, I need this embarrassing question Challenge. answered. Challenge! Uh, what do you really need, Bree? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's important to communicate your needs. For example, seconds. after this, I need uh, a meal and a cold beer. Uh, that's right, I need it. Damn it, don't judge me for it. The <laughs> freaking alcohol. <laughs> Yes! Uh, it's not a problem if you don't call it one, baby. Challenge! That's not true! Yeah. Okay, okay, ten seconds. You can refuse to acknowledge problems, they are still problems, and you should still solve them. Challenge! Yeah. Why do you tell Will's dad that? Yeah, come up here! <laughs> home, but he can have the victory today. <laughs> All right. Will earned a well-deserved victory. Um, and we're going to move on to our next game. Hey, look, it's got Will in it. Hey. Hey. This is someone be my dad in this scene? <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, this is a game for Will, Michael, and Matt. It's called Fresh Choice. The way Fresh Choice works is that Will, Michael, and Matt are going to be doing a scene like any old scene. But uh, there's a catch because after things they say, sometimes I can ding my bell and tell them Fresh Choice and they're gonna have to change the last thing they said. Uh, they're gonna have to change the thing to a thing that rhymes with what they previously said. It would work something like this if one of you said something. I'm feeling down. I'd say, Matt, Fresh Choice. Let's ride to town. Fresh Choice again. Hey, it's a clown. All right, so you see how he'd have to keep overriding the last thing he said with something else that rhymes. And uh, we'll, we'll continue the scene as though the most recent thing he said was the only thing he said. Let's get them uh, ready with a suggestion. Um, what's, a, what's a reason to party? Laundromat. <laughs> yeah, that one. I think that was the same yard work guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, all right, uh, laundromat, laundromat is your suggestion. Everyone, this is Fresh Choice. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Get it in there. I'm going. <clears throat> Don't have all day. Pappy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpappy. <laughs> Two I... generations above me. <laughs> I told your father that I'd teach you how to do laundry like a man. And. <laughs> And you're doing great so far. I'm oh, proud of you. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> All right. Well, now we have 45 minutes. Let's sit and talk. Oh, cool. Do we have to watch it or? Well, hey, hey. is he ready? Uh, it's Victor. You remember my grand, my grand grandson? My son. <laughs> <laughs> Big Vic! I don't come in often, so I can yeah, see I how know, you wouldn't sorry. recognize me. <laughs> Big Vic, how the hell are you? I'm doing great. Good. Michael, fresh choice. You know, it's a lot of hate. <laughs> Out there for you? It's a lot of hate in here. Oh. Oh, oh no. Jeez. <laughs> Big Vic? Wait, Big Vic. No, this is good. This is a learning experience, son. You gotta learn. I... Well, I was never taught how to... Well, I'm not your son. I'm your grandson. <laughs> I was never taught how to do laundry like a man. Well, neither was I. That's why I couldn't teach you. <laughs> and see what's happening here? There is a second washer. Pop, do you want to give it a go? Michael, fresh choice. Man, this is going slow. <laughs> fresh choice. I need a cup of joe. <laughs> I can do that for you just fine. How about really? you two spend a little time together, huh? Okay. So you got your laundry? Yeah, I'll bring it inside. Go, go snag it. Yeah. Look at you two. We haven't done much, but yeah. <laughs> the rapport is there. I'm already proud of you both. Oh. Well, here's the laundry. <laughs> All right, so you're going to take it, and you're going to put it in this machine. Will, fresh choice. You're going to take it, and you're going to turn it all green. <laughs> Will, fresh choice. You're going you're gonna to shake it, and then you're going to be mean. you got to yell at the laundry. <laughs> Look at you two go. <laughs> well, here, Big Vic. We'll be right back, Grandpappy. I'm you know, Dad, I always thought both. it was kind of weird how you gave me a nickname and... Like, I'm one of the boys, but I'm your son. You, do you not want to be one of the boys? I do want to be one of the boys. Another learning moment! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Think about it. You're like 70. What do the two of you need? Uh, Matt, fresh choice. Why is this jacket tweed? <laughs> fresh choice. You've got to open the book of each other's hearts and read. <laughs> <laughs> How many scoops? I know. <laughs> I'm making the coffee still. How many scoops? Just four. All right. <laughs> Big V, I, I, you're right. I shouldn't have been treating you like one of the boys. You're my boy. Yeah. You're my one boy, not one of the boys. And God damn it, I Thanks, shouldn't be Dad. calling you nicknames. I should be calling you by your full God-given and me-given name. <laughs> Good. Victoroni. <laughs> well, fresh choice. Pepperoni. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a scone. All right. <laughs> All right. I should have known that would vaguely be about fatherly love. <laughs> Will can't escape that theme for this episode. <laughs> the next scene I was in, I was a bad father. <laughs> Everyone, uh, we have our very special guest coming up now, and I'm very excited. So please lose your minds for Big Nick, everybody! What's up, Big Nick? What's up, Big Nick? All right, Big Nick's an awesome YouTuber personality. He's going to join us today for a little game that we like to call The Dating Game. So if any of you have seen uh, The Dating Game, it's an old TV show where we pair lucky contestants with uh, uh, lucky bachelors. And that's Big Nick, right, Big Nick? Yeah, of course. Yeah, all right. So <laughs> Big, Nick, Big Nick is looking for a date, and we're going we're gonna to hook it up. We're going to get Nick... We're gonna get Nick a date with uh, uh, three hopeful contestants. But the catch is that Nick doesn't know who the contestants even are, and that's gonna be the fun of it. He's gonna be guessing. So for now, we need to actually kick Big Nick out of the room. Could we go uh, on three? Hey, Big Nick, get out of here. One, two, three. Hey, Big Nick, get out of here. All right, so this game is for Lorkin, Matt, and Bree, and they're gonna take a seat here. The way this game works is that these are our three contestants. They're gonna be answering uh, Bachelor Nick's questions, and you're gonna pick all three, like what they are, right? So the first one's gonna be Brie, and Brie's gonna be a, like a famous person or, or like a historical figure, a yeah. celebrity, or like fictional character. What's yeah. the, like a, a name we all recognize that Brie can be today? Oh, Nemo. 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 
Nemo. So Bree is Nemo from Finding Nemo. <laughs> It's great, uh, and this uh, this is Matt. So Matt's gonna be uh, Matt's gonna be uh, a really tiny object. What what's a what's a really small thing? What what do you say up there? He's a st he's one staple. <laughs> Matt, is a, Matt is a single staple. Lorkin is a, a really big object that you can interact with. What's what's a what's? He's he's an elephant. Lorkin Lorkin's an elephant. All right. That's your contestants. Big Nick's gonna find a date tonight. Everyone help me invite him back in. Say, hey, Big Nick, get back in here. One, two, three! Hey, Big Nick, get back in here! All right. Everyone, a huge round of applause for Big Nick, everybody! All right, all right, all right, people. Welcome to The Dating Game. I'm your host, Mason, and we're gonna get someone a date tonight. And that someone is Big Nick, isn't that right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, everyone, Big Nick, one more time. So Big Nick's here, and he's looking for love, and he's looking for love in all the right places. A TV show in front of lots of people he doesn't know. <laughs> all right, all right. So we have some great contestants for you tonight, Big Nick. Why don't you tell us, like, one thing about yourself so we can get to know you as an audience? Yeah, uh, I like, uh, I like sitting in the dark. Mmm. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! What a catch! What a catch! That's right. Riveting. He likes sitting in the dark. Now, uh, Big Nick, uh, let's just break right into getting to know your contestants today. How about that? So you can ask any questions in the world you want. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to ask uh, this question to everybody. Like, okay. Like, um, okay, so if you're going to go to McDonald's, right, and order off the dollar menu, but the fish fillet was gone and some of the McRibs, you to Taco Bell and get something off the dollar menu there or go to Chick-fil-A because it's about to close. Okay, so it's, uh, it's, uh, despite, despite all the context, do you prefer Taco Bell or Chick-fil-A? Um, and, and let's throw in a why. How about some whys? Let's, let's get in. Yeah, so let's, why would be necessary? Yeah, that's true. Big Nick's got to hear why. So, let, let contestant number one, uh, Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, why? Oh, um, sorry, I'm kind of still stuck on the fish fillet thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's, I get that. Yeah. We lost a lot of we lost a lot of good men. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Answer the question, please, contestant. Sorry, one. sorry, sorry. Um, oh, it's really oh, it's really hard to it's really hard to decide. I guess I I usually my dad makes most of my decisions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, no more dad shit. All right. <laughs> I invented the dad shit. Talk about Chick Fil A. <laughs> Big Nick doesn't have all day. Uh, 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 talk about, talk, talk about. Why? Oh. oh it's, I, that's... Thank you, contestant number one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Big Nick, I, I'm sure this helped you inch closer to your decision. Let's hear contestant number two's uh, answer. Uh, I, yes. Uh, <clears throat> I have a point to make. In fact, I have two points. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Point number one. Chick-fil-A uses separate packages when you get uh, fries and a chicken sandwich and you ask for extra sauce. Now that's <laughs> double the fun for me, because I love me as some paper. <laughs> Point number two. Chick-fil-A seems to embrace uh, uh, people of, of many different walks of life. Uh, and, uh, and you sure? I <laughs> Oh, is that not right? Sorry, I don't get out of the drawer very often. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, so you got one for Taco Bell, one for Chick-fil-A, uh, none for good reasons, and then we have contestant number three. Uh, first off, yeah, I'm going to agree with this guy. He's definitely a dumbo. Um, and uh, I... If I had to pick between the two, I'd probably go with Taco Bell because Chick-fil-A is closing soon and it takes me a really long time to get my massive body indoors. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love it. Love it. That's I can help you, you keep those ears back. Nope. <laughs> well. <laughs> all right, all right. So, Big Nick, uh, uh, I'm sure that uh, you're feeling a little lost right now because I am. Yeah. And, uh, hey, uh, yeah. Me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so, Big Nick, uh, you can keep asking questions. You can ask to individuals. You can do whatever you want. You can tell them whatever you want. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just be doing that, actually. Yeah. Right. Let's say uh, you were to sail on a ship, right, from uh, the Philippines 
to uh, America, right? And all you had was a bucket of gold and a bucket of chicken. But you had to get rid of one because there's a pirate about to take over your ship. Mm. And he's like, yo, I won't raid you if you give me one of those. Keep in mind, the bucket of chicken <laughs> is really fucking good. <laughs> Noted. Yeah. Um, so... So is this another, like, either or with now, instead of chicken or tacos, it's now chicken or gold? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so chicken has advanced to the next round. <laughs> and in our tournament of preferences, it's time to face off against gold. So I'd love to hear your choice and why again. Well, uh, first of all, Big Nick, I just love that you just do whatever you want. I admire that. They don't let me. <laughs> Second of all, I don't really. I it's, it's hard because like I'm trying to I'm trying to find the answer you're looking for. Um, <laughs> I'm just having a hard time finding it. Um, that's just me, you know. Uh, well, now that I'm on my own, I suppose I should probably take the gold. You know, start fresh. Really be a grown up. Mm, great. Contestant number two. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have 90 seconds. <laughs> Rude. Uh, Big Nick, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to uh, reject your premise because, in fact, I am an expert at holding things together. I can hold many, many things together if you stack them upon one another, but I can most certainly hold two things together. So I would clutch and I would clutch and I would suck it in. <laughs> Away, I would keep both. All right, thank you, contestant number two. Uh, contestant You're no welcome. <laughs> that was rhetorical, contestant number two. <laughs> what an interesting stabler. Yeah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're speaking of my father. <laughs> <laughs> I said no more dad shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, so, wait, you know who I am? What do you yeah, yeah, What do you think? You're stable, dog. All right, yeah, you're stable. That's right, that's right. Uh, would, you, would you like to date the staple or not? Nah, he's a kind of a prick. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Hand for the staple, everyone! Hand for Big Nick! All right, contestant number three, we'd like to give you a, a, a chance to answer the question, gold or chicken and why? <laughs> I would take the chicken because uh, gold won't go bad, so I could remember the pirate because a lot of people say I never forget. Mm. And uh, so then I would take the chicken. I wouldn't eat it. I mostly eat peanuts and uh, pond water. <laughs> <laughs> and then later on, after I made it to America, I would go back, I'd remember the pirate, and I would take back my gold. Thank you, contestant number three. That was, that was, that was great. Uh, now, uh, I'd love to give you a chance to, to talk one-on-one -on -one directly with, with either of the contestants. You can really laser target any questions. You can just have a conversation with them, whatever you want. Okay. Um, contestant one. All right. Let's say we're at a strip club, right? <laughs> I, I propose to the first stripper I see. Do you let that happen or do you intervene? Oh. <laughs> a real moral quandary. <laughs> so, yeah, you're, you're on a date. And your date proposes to a stripper. Mm -hmm. Do you let that happen? Well, um, I would just be honored to be taken with you. Uh, logistically, it'd be a little difficult to get me there. Um, but if you have the means, I guess I would just have. I just have to. You no. Know. <laughs> no, I let everything happen. I just let everything be. I. You go to school. You come home. Don't go over there. Swim right here. <laughs> no, don't propose to the stripper. We're on a date. Yeah, all right. Looks like contestant number one underwent some character development. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you say? Uh, I just said, uh, what's up, Nemo? How are you? Hey! Hey! Uh, is, Nemo, is Nemo the one? Um... Nah. No, all right, Nemo. Oh. Sorry, Nemo. Uh, it's okay. I'm like eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how we didn't screen you out, but thanks for playing. And then I don't. Uh, but let's uh, let's let's get to know contestant number three a bit before you decide if you want to date them or not. Okay, so uh, let's say we're going on a heist, right? Uh, we gotta get all the narcotics out of Colombia and bring them back to the U.S. All the narcotics in all of Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> so, so pull up right with our AKs. 
Baptist Church. Okay. Uh, we're ready to place. We're about to get out. But someone's got a gun to us. And he's like, I'm going to shoot one of you guys. Wow. Uh, which one is it going to be? All right. So the question is, would you take a bullet for Big Dick? Dude, I weigh like somewhere around two to 10,000 pounds. Somewhere in that range. I'm pretty big. So I 100% take that bullet. It's not taking me down. I am massive. They have specially designed guns just to take me down. Mm. So it looks like test number three would take a bullet for you. What do you Thank think you about man, that? I appreciate that. Um, that means a lot, actually. Uh, <laughs> so, you got it. Yeah, just, elephant. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. yeah all right. They're going to take Big Nick yeah. and Elephant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, it's my favorite part of the show. It's time for our long form, everyone. So, um, all right. So this is gonna be an apartment, right? Uh, the way an apartment long form works is that Big Nick is gonna help us dream up um, this apartment, and he's gonna cast one of us to play him in this apartment. We're all gonna live in the same complex, and you're just gonna see uh, what mayhem unfolds from us living together. Yeah, great. So um, uh, first, Big Nick of us of us six, me, Michael. Will, Lorcan, Matt, Bree, uh, who would you like to play you? Um, I cast you, dude. All right, so I'll be, I'll be, I'll be Big Nick. All right, so uh, Big Nick, I need some help uh, uh, learning how to play you. Can, you. can you tell me, like, three things I can latch on to that would make this the most faithful rendition of a, a Big Nick portrayal? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm social. Okay, cool. Um, relax, and I like to be alone when, you know, I have to be alone. You know what I mean? Social and alone. Yeah. 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 Uh, can I get one more thing for you? Just one more. Like, uh, what's... Um... In the dark, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we have, we have two other rooms, right? And we have uh, five people split among them. Let's describe each room. To the room, uh, to your right, uh, what's the first thing you notice when you walk into the room about the room? Oh, okay. My neighbor's apartment smells like shit. Okay. okay. <laughs> Does it smell really bad or like shit? No, it was literally... Sm literally like, shit. Well, I mean, it's so bad... Like, if there was shit on the ground, you'd be like, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> okay, cool. So it smells like shit. It doesn't, not the euphemism. Yeah, yeah. Right, go, cool. Sure. All right, what, what else about it? Clothes scattered on the ground. It's clothes everywhere. Uh, mildewy towels on the ground. Okay, <laughs> now what's, uh, what's, a, what's a detail besides how filthy it is? Um, one of the roommates is fucking, like, freaking out because it's so disgusting. All right, anxiety <laughs> is about the place. Good. It's an anxious, filthy room. And then to, uh, to the left, you have another room, and this room's very different, right? Other neighbor's room um it smells really good actually like what uh it smells like roses but he's got this weird ass fucking tarantula <laughs> okay so there's, there's a tarantula and there's roses yeah Dude. and the tarantula sometimes gets out of his cage uh-huh and he hasn't uh tested to see if it was poisonous or not okay cool is it like the owner lets it out on walks or is it like escaping Oh, no, like, it'll escape sometimes. <laughs> it'll just escape. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you have to be ready for it. All right, and one more thing about this room. Uh, they throw a party there every month, and why, why do they throw a party every month? Uh, they throw a party there every month because um, they're a frat, bro. They're a frat. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> Everyone, thank Big Nick for me. Uh, one more time. Thank you, Big Nick. Big Nick, you can watch from wherever you like. Um, everyone, uh, this is our apartment, and we'll end the night with it. Uh, hand together for apartment, everyone. <laughs> Boys, get in here! What's Chapter up? meeting! I brought the oh, roses. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pledge Every fraternity of the roses it. meeting starts oh, so good. with the rose. rose. Wait, hey, where's Tony? Oh, right here? Oh, there he is. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> Gucci, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> All right, first order of business. Hit us with it. Fix the lock on Tony's cage, yep. dude. He's getting out. What up, Eric? One thought. I agree that that's important, but... Yeah. What if we threw another party instead? Oh! <laughs> oh you're oh, right. Oh, yeah, oh, we we roses! Roses! I'm going to have to get a lot more roses! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> oh! Sometimes I scream when I don't feel well because it's the only way I know how to express myself! Yeah! My dad just died! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, third order of business, fellas. We live in a goddamn apartment. <laughs> But what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say we gotta move out of here. This is our home, though. This sudden change makes me uncomfortable! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
look, I don't know. I, I, I'm not. I, I don't, I'm not gonna be party. I'm not gonna be party. Fucking frat man. <laughs> dude, take your rose. No, 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 dude. That's that's hella stupid. Dude. No, dude, dude your stupid as fuck frat can just fuck off next stairs. <laughs> dude, try yelling. Uh. Seriously, dude. Like. Did you smell the rose? <laughs> All right, that's the nicest fuck rose. That's really good. Hey, we got a lot more. Seriously, get out of my apartment. I'm a social guy, but you not right now. You keep the rose. <laughs> you keep it. Keep smelling it. Thanks. Hey, come next door if you want to party. All right, I'll think about it. We're having a party. It's going to be loud. Yeah, I'll be here in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Vavusala. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, can we have a roommate meeting? I don't mean to be a bot. Oh, God. <laughs> It's disgusting. Hey, Vavusala, hey. <laughs> oh, God. What's up? You. I'm gonna. God, it's repulsive. <laughs> the... ah, Vavusala, what? Um, I'm, I, I'm the kind of person that feels more comfortable uh, when there's space. Please don't. <laughs> I gotta put a shirt on. <laughs> Vavusala, I feel that we should find a way to meet halfway. Um, for example, you like uh, to roll around in your own filth. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I like when the dishes aren't left in the sink. <laughs> um, hey, uh, uh, oh. uh, you guys see a big ass spider? Uh, no. Is no. Tony loose again? No, we probably, we probably Is got Tony him. Tony loose again? Up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, Vavusala, I've been meaning to talk to you about that too. <laughs> they're like, they're soggy. And if I don't people even are know coming what, into our apartment, I got to clothe. <laughs> Vavusala, that frat down the hall. I mean, you and I, we're, we're 23. We're, we're cute young gals. And yeah. sometimes I... Oh, God, it's... Sweater, it's, it's cold. It's like dripping, and it's, the parts of it are stiff. Favusla, the point is... <laughs> Favusla... Starchy. <I'm>, <laughs> damn it, Favusla. My point is, there's a frat right down the hall. We're a couple of hot young chicks. What if... Yeah. What if you showered one time, once, and then we went over there and tried to meet some boys? Okay, okay. Or... <laughs> we can roll around in our own we filth. We can dive right into this. It's, it's so much more fun than you think it is. Don't, please don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so good. <laughs> if I meet you halfway. Yes. And I roll around in the filth with you. Yes. Will you come to their next kegger? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they just, I'm like, I could get that in the pledge, um, and I act all tough around them. I just am only, I can only be myself with you, Big Nick. I get that. <laughs> I've overstayed my welcome. <laughs> no, 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 it's all right, you can sit down. You want, like, soda? <laughs> Look, it would just, I would, they would respect me so much if I could get you to come to the kegger. I'm feeling manipulated right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Hey, you, we just did something I like. We just bonded for like an hour. Yeah, we can do something you like now. All right, can you turn off the light? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Frat of the Roses, get in here! Yeah! So yep. Where the brick is Tony? <laughs> uh, that was my job? We sent you out to go look for Tony. Oh, you were gone um. for three, four hours. And you came back smiling and whistling and no Tony. Yeah, you can't smile. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I think friendship is number one. Y'all are really into this spider lately. That's not, that's not what we stand He's for. a tarantula, that's not <laughs> tarantula. That's different sure, species. Well sure, sure, but maybe if we spent less time, you know, grooming rose bushes, and less time searching for your darn tarantula. Your, that's what, that's our tarantula. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say? What are you saying? You tell us right now. I'm trying to speed up. I'll note he's not yelling, by the way. I think we could maybe get respect being quiet. <laughs> We're getting complaints. From who? Everybody From loves our yelling. Oh, Everybody loves our whoop. 
<laughs> yeah, open the curtain. Let me walk out. <laughs> oh, All right, man. that's right, bitches. What's, the... <laughs> What's that in your hand? It's your fucking tarantula, dude. Whoa, dude. <laughs> no one handles no. Tony without the training course. Yeah. That's incredible. I'm gonna fucking squeeze my hand if you don't stop. No. Yelling. No. 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 bro. We don't fucking know if that thing is poison. <laughs> I never serious? bothered to look it up. We, we never checked. I told you guys to get a test and you told me to shut up. You just yelled at it. <laughs> yes. Am I holding a poison tarantula? Maybe. It's like a coin toss. <laughs> you know what? I don't give a shit. I'm hardcore as fuck. <laughs> you, that much is you sure you don't want to be in the front? This dude's social as shit. Wait. <laughs> With a poison tarantula in his head. Got a beat of sweat. How can we be cool like this guy? Will you shut up? <laughs> Guys, it doesn't. It smells less like roses than it did. And it kind of smells like shit. Oh, oh. Are those footsteps out here? Wait, hold on. I'll go check. Hey, come with me. I'll come with you. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so when we get there, there's gonna be a lot of cute boys, and just do your best not to bring up that that your favorite thing to do each day is roll around in your own filth. Can and I they'll... please wear my compost accessories? No, <laughs> compost accessories. Just They're... the banana peel one. <laughs> I can hear their voices. They're in there. Let's go in and let's flirt a little. Okay. Okay? All right. The door's right here. They're behind that door. They're behind that door. They're right behind <laughs> that door. As soon as we knock on this, there's gonna be people there's on the other side. people in that party. <laughs> And a whole bunch, uh, like, like probably like around like four people. I think that even that one loner, but at the same time super social. Guy. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's See, I told you guys this party we lit as fuck. We turned off all the lights. <laughs> just, just no film. Cool. Here we go. Pretty sweet. Hi, oh. it's a, uh, it's two chicks from down the hall. We have dirt. Uh, hi. <laughs> well, welcome. To our, I can't really see where you are right now. Oh my god. To our... Did you open the door? I can't see. Dude, what? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Dark party. Uh, hi. <laughs> Dude, I just finished filing a noise complaint. I'm about to file a smell complaint. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just get inside, get inside. Someone go dookie when the lights turned off? Uh, <laughs> it smells precisely like shit in here. <laughs> but most of all, I told you not to what? put the shit in your pocket as we walk here. Put the shit in your pocket. I use it as currency. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> shit!